Islam is often presented as a very simple religion. It's just submission to Allah. But if you dig a little deeper, you find out in the Quran, Surah 4, verse 65, that submission to Allah requires complete obedience to all of Muhammad's decisions. And that's where Islam gets a lot more complicated, because Muhammad's decisions are spread across thousands of stories in the Hadith. Most Christians don't have the time, or the sources, or the desire to go through all this material and figure out what Islam teaches. No problem, that's what we're here for. We're happy to serve that role in the body of Christ. But we should all keep in mind that there are more than 1.6 billion Muslims in the world and that Islam places a strong emphasis on preaching and winning converts. Chances are we're not going to be there when your Muslim friends preach Islam to you or when your children go off to college and hear about how wonderful Islam is, not only from their Muslim friends, but also from their professors. It seems then that Christians in general need to know something about Islam. Rather than throw everything at you at once, I'm going to give you three simple verses. Now, I would love to see Christians around the world learn maybe a dozen or so Quran verses that I think are very important. But if I were to narrow down the list to just three verses, these would be the three. First, Surah 4, verse 157. By the way, surahs are basically chapters, so chapter 4, verse 157. This verse gives you the Islamic view of Jesus' crucifixion. Let's read it. They said in boast, they here are the Jews, they said in boast, we killed Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah, but they killed him not, nor crucified him, but so it was made to appear to them. And those who differ therein are full of doubts with no certain knowledge, but only conjecture to follow. For of a surety, they killed him not. Notice that Jesus wasn't killed. He wasn't even crucified. Islam denies that the crucifixion of Jesus ever took place. But if Jesus was never crucified, why do people believe that he died on the cross? The Islamic view is that Allah miraculously disguised someone to make him look like Jesus, and it was this other person who was crucified, not Jesus. The reason you believe that Jesus died, according to Islam, is that Allah did an excellent job tricking everyone. It's interesting to ponder the theological depths false prophets will go to in order to deny what Jesus did for us. Second, Surah 5, verse 47. Muslims often claim that the Bible has been corrupted, but there are plenty of verses in the Quran which show that if the Bible has been corrupted, Allah certainly doesn't know anything about it. 547 is one of these verses. In 547, Allah commands Christians to judge by the gospel. He says, Let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah hath revealed therein. If any do fail to judge by the light of what Allah hath revealed, they are no better than those who rebel. Allah commands us to judge by the gospel, and he says that we're rebels if we don't. Clearly, we can only judge by the gospel if we actually have the gospel. So the Quran assumes that we have reliable scriptures. Of course, if we obey Allah and we judge by the gospel, we have to judge that Islam is false because Islam contradicts the gospel. The gospel says that Jesus died on the cross. The Quran, Surah 4, verse 157, says that he didn't. The Quran tells us to judge by the gospel. Therefore, if we listen to the Quran, we have to reject the Quran. Third, Surah 9, verse 29. If you've never understood why Christians and other religious minorities are so horribly mistreated in places like Iraq and Egypt and Pakistan, the reason for the abuse is found in the Quran. Allah commands Muslims, once they are in the majority, to violently subjugate Christians and Jews. Allah says in 929, fight those who believe not in Allah, nor the last day. Notice it says, Fight those who do not believe, not fight in self-defense. This is a command to fight people based on their beliefs. Fight those who believe not in Allah, nor the last day, nor hold that forbidden, which hath been forbidden by Allah and his messenger, nor acknowledge the religion of truth. From among the people of the book, people of the book are Jews and Christians, until they pay the jizya with willing submission and feel themselves subdued. 
Muslims are commanded to fight us until we pay tribute to them and feel ourselves subdued. We have to acknowledge our inferiority and accept our status as second-class citizens who don't have the same rights as Muslims. This command has probably led to more oppression than any other command in history. If you watch my videos, you might already be familiar with these three verses, but I would encourage you to pass this video on to your friends. Islam's most powerful asset in the West, with the possible exception of political correctness, is ignorance. If people don't know anything about Islam, Muslim preachers, along with groups like CARE and ISNA, can say pretty much whatever they want to say about Islam and no one will know any better. But if certain facts about Islam become common knowledge, our discussions with our Muslim friends will be much more productive. So pass this video on, and if you'd like to learn more about Islam, be sure to visit us at answeringmuslims.com.